episode. Um, we have got um, our first guest who's come back on, and it's our brother. Thank you for having Phil. me, guys. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Cheers. It's Phil of the Luxury Bed Company. Welcome back, mate. It's fantastic Thank to you have you much. back on. Um, you were actually our first guest along with uh, Callum, yeah. and uh, we we were brand new to it. Um, you it helped was, us was, test the water. Do you water. know what? I'm more nervous for this one than I was the first one. Because we can get into a bit more into the teeth here. I know. Not sure like, I know what's going to happen this time. <laughs> no, but like it, it was, it was brand new to us. Mm. Um, that and it was brand new to all of us. With the, the kit was new. It's good to see how it's progressed. It's 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 good. I've watched a few of them, and it's good to see how how much better they're getting. And you look like you're really enjoying it. And it's good to see. And I want it to really kick off for you. I want it to take off. One day you'll have Tyson Fury sat. In this chair. Well, and if you're only people go by, <coughs> then they hopefully we'll get somewhere near. I know, but I, I just just he's oozing positivity straight away. Yeah, it's, it's just good doing it. Like smiling constantly. This Look is at the glow on him. You're doing this after 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 work, but you love it because you're a, you're a socialising and you're having a bit of crack with people, and it's it's a, like a project of your own. Well, people like you are making see. it making it so fun. It's getting people on like yourself who are just loving life and just spreading this positivity. I'm trying to love life as much as possible. I'm quite busy at the minute, actually. You are, right. mate, and that's why I we're... feel like I'm getting a good routine as well at the minute. Like, well, I've never really got a good routine. To we be love fair. a routine on this show. We love a routine. But um, at the minute, um, I'm more focused than I've ever ever been in terms of work. Um, but it's just because we're busy and. I'm really grateful for it, but I'm, uh, I'm enjoying it. Why do you think you're still, like, even though you're progressing as, as fast as you are, what's, like, what's the fork? Why are you so focused now? Is it just how busy you are? I've always been focused. Like, I've always been obsessed. Like, I would you, I would honestly say the word is obsessed. I'm obsessed with what I do. I'm obsessed with luxury bed company. I'm obsessed with beds. Um, I, 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 it's, all I, it's all I think about all day, every day. And I think just at the minute, <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like the team in the office is getting stronger. Like um, I feel like it's the, the bond with myself and the team is incredible at the minute. I love it. I just love I love watching it. I just sometimes just sit there in the office and I just watch, like not even the banter, the way they are together, taking like work off each other, passing work across to each other, and like, oh, can you can you do this call for me? I'll do that call for you. And like <clears throat> the and the relationship, and obviously you like you, you just know yourselves. We do a lot together as well as like as friends. So we'll do, um, we'll go for like uh, I don't know. We'll have nights out and we do stuff and we do stuff for you. So, but I just think as well with us all being quite young, um, it's like a lot of positive energy. I think that's it. Yeah, you're creating friendships while you're all on the same path. I think mm -hmm. you, you're kind of going through the trenches a little bit but we're, in regards to how much graft you're all putting in. But because of that, you're creating this camaraderie yeah. which is second to none. I now want them to have a career out of being with the luxury bed company. Like I want it to be a career. It's not just a job. Yeah, well, we know how, how much you look out for and, people uh, and how much you want people to be happy around you. So, like, But that's that probably shows. why I feel like now is... It's it's just I just as well I'm on the road a lot as well me and Joe and we're like constantly with like a, 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 a different celebrity or or some form of I don't know TV personality star or whatever anyone who we work with because we work with a lot of people and we just it's like every other day or at least one or two a week and I feel like but the, then people come to us we don't normally when you do collaboration stuff you the people that you reach out to never get back to you and the people that you work with are always people that come to you yeah. really um yeah. the odd ones are obviously who, who we've messaged but that's very rare we're going to get into the power of influences in a minute yeah. but i just want to were you at a half a million followers last time we seen you had you reached it yet? Just <sighs> yes just i will have been, i will have been because i hit half a million followers at the beginning this year right okay and yeah, it just did, literally yeah. it just stopped we're on 5 11 today and honestly, but that's still eleven thousand. Yeah, more it's followers good. Over half a million. Of course, it's good. I know you want more, but this. Can we just reiterate half a million followers? For, it, it's mad. For a, for a, but I don't look at it the way you do. No, I watch it go up every day. And obviously, since I went on Instagram in two thousand sixteen, it's like I've watched it grow. 
And for me, that's it. Like for me, I look at it uh, like that's how it should be. That's what should be happening. I don't want to be sat with the same followers for the rest of my life. I, like the reason, like the marketing and everything that we do is to, to gain followers. Yeah. To gain customer, more customers. So I don't see that. Way. So when someone looks at our page, like you saying there, for half a million followers. Yeah. Like, yeah, it, it, it's fucking incredible. Like, like it's mint. It's one of the first things you look at though when you get yeah, told about is. a brand. You go on Instagram and you see the followers and you go, Oh, they've got a lot of followers. They must be decent. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You sort of judge a company on that. But let's put, but let's put it into perspective here, right? We're not talking about um, a famous celebrity. We're not talking about like a, 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 a kind of worldwide athlete or something like that. We're talking about your obsession, which is yeah. primarily beds and yeah. basically furniture, right? You've gained half a million followers from a bed company, from which, 2016 which do you know, as well. for a bed company, I'm not. I'm trying not to play the bed um, world down, but ten thousand followers in a bed company would be yeah. a success, right? You've got over half a million in a bed company, mm. and like, and it, you're a lad from Dalo, yeah, right? It's mad you're not, you're not from mad. a city or not like that. So, like, I think yeah. it's almost we overlook it because of how quick and mint you've done it. But man, it's it's the following you've got for. I don't want to say um, a simple product, but it, a, a product which everyone knows. It's it's not something well, I, different. I, I, but I do believe um, it's because we're different, yeah. and I do genuinely believe no, the, the company about sounding like the products are so uh, different. About sounding arrogant, I just I, sometimes I do sit and think, what would the bed industry be like right now, if if it wasn't for how passionate and ambitious I am about my own brand, if, if I didn't come along. And I do genuinely think we kind of like, we, we we really changed it. We, not, we, not just the bed industry. I think all in like home, like kind of any furniture industries, even for us, I mean, you're one of my biggest inspirations with the work that you've done on Instagram and stuff like that. You, you, you you've made me believe that anything is possible anything is possible mate God, you really anything have. is so possible not just the bed industry you've really really upped the game in a lot of industries i think with what you've done thank you very much i think it's i know i'll, I'll big you up all day but i just want to really put it into perspective what you've actually done and it's, it, it's it, amazing it, it's, mate. it's been a good journey like it's been a really good journey and like a lot of people who know me <clears throat> obviously people from down who watch this they won't like a lot of them don't know like that I, I'm involved in this completely different world that no one sees, like the interior world on Instagram. There's so many like big home accounts, home interior accounts. There's so many. And like, I've got so many friends and met so many people through Instagram. People that I've met face to face and people that I haven't even met yet face to face, but I've still got like a bond with them, I, like WhatsApp or talk to them through Instagram or people that I communicate with on a daily basis as friends, but obviously, um, <clears throat> a lot of them promote for us and stuff, but, and I haven't met them. Um, and like, I've got this whole different world, probably the the Reggie side of everything. Obviously that was just a nickname that I got back in 2018 on Instagram, but it's- Where did yeah, Reggie come from then? It was like an engagement group chat uh, with these small businesses, niches, soul candles, uh, fabric and core, LXR print. Um, and wallpaper sales, it looks how well for them. Um, and it was in this like engagement group chat and it was like the first ever giveaway we got involved in. And it was just like everyone introduced herself, me just being me, just working myself. Then, then I was called Reggie. And then I didn't know how to say it, I'll bother with my real name, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I was just being and a monk there, but I've really always <laughs> been Reggie on Instagram. Yeah. And, and then has a lot a of people like meet me and I'm like, oh, I'll tell them my real name. <clears throat> And like now nah, you're you you are a Reggie, you you don't look no, nothing like a Phil, you like yeah I'm you like, are Reggie though I know it's you like it's that it's that smile there she's like I'm Reggie <laughs> <laughs> no I so, mean yeah. so you 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 use a lot of or you you're involved in a lot of collaborations now, obviously loads of different companies like how what how does that help the business and how do you help each it, other it does it like it helps massively obviously that hence the reason you do it. And like someone, uh, someone asked one of me, well, my dad one time, um, I was Phil doing his Instagram. And then someone basically said, oh, you just give celebrities beds and they just promote. 
it's not that easy because then no. I wouldn't I wouldn't be doing such a high end product <clears throat> at a price that they are to gain followers from celebrities. It's not that easy because I would just copy them title watches and just say yeah. Not no disrespect to any watch companies or like that. Just using that as an example, like a small product. That's what I mean. A small product at a cheap price to try and get game followers out. Celebrities, not how it works. They are also collaborating with the luxury bed company. So the two together make it work. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you get me? It's not a one trick pony, is it? No, you couldn't just collaborate with celebrities and influencers with, with wires and batteries or whatever they are <laughs> yeah. and gain loads of followers. <laughs> Their followers have also got to love your product. I was product. just about to try and do that as well. What? <laughs> Collaborate with Wise and Batman. Well, yeah. It's a big company. Yeah, you know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. Do you so, know what it is as well? I was actually cutting a lad's hair the other day and he had like over 100,000 followers and I was just chatting to him about certain things and obviously with the clothing coming out and that. But he said he gets sent stuff all the time. A lot of stuff he doesn't even wear because it's, he gets it. It's like, oh, shit. And then other times where they're just, the company have just half ass message him, oh, do this for us. You'll, I'll, we'll give you a free top or something like that and it's like there's no really he's not getting out back from it it's it's a half-assed kind of thing it's just a throw out in the We've, dark whereas what you're saying is when you when you collaborate with anyone or any business or any person it's like you both have something yeah you you you're enthusiastic building about a relationship yeah. as well yeah that, well that's what we do like, i've built so many relationships with people um obviously a lot of home accounts um god there's too many to name i'm talking hundreds hundreds and hundreds of home accounts, celebrities, influencers, and <clears throat> it's funny because when you go to celebrities' house and that, you don't look at them as like that person you're seeing on the telly or it's just an ordinary person. Like, they're also collaborating with me. Well, this is you know where, what I mean? This is where a lot of your, this is why this has worked for you, right? Because you know what he's like. Yeah. He doesn't change whether he's talking to someone who's completely famous or he's talking to a random client in a barbershop. He does not change who he is. He walks in, he makes you feel comfortable straight away. Yeah. And the person he is, is Thank what you. has made these collaborations 100%. Yeah, and like you say, just the relationship you build with them. And I think the, the, the like us because, like how oh, you explain that, um, and they like you for you. it. Yeah. You're, not, you're not pussyfooting around them or you're not making a big, oh, can I get a selfie with you for me, mum? Do you know what I mean? Like, and you treat them like people. Just treat them like people. Yeah, they're also getting an amazing product of us. So what? Just we'll. we'll I'm, I'm jumping ahead a little bit, yeah. but um, just in line we with can, that, we can we can take a few steps back. The, me the message that Tyson Fury sent you when he said oh, he wants to get involved. With uh, you, what was I that you, first I message? I was I was at the lakes with Isabella, and my family, and that, and uh, I was just sat in the the player park thing, sat on one of the chairs. Um, like me, mum, and everyone was sat around. And all the kids were playing in the park, and Meg, who uh, obviously does all DMs and that, um, she messaged her and Tyson Fury's messaged her. I was like, eh? So I went straight on Instagram. I can't believe it. I jumped up. I, I was like, eh. so I looked. Have you ever made? Have you ever made beds for a king mush? Now is that like the perfect message for Phil? That yeah, <laughs> I'm in the middle of this place now. My signal's gone. I can't type back because I've got no signal. He's the number one boxing critic on Twitter. He's, the, he's the, one of the best shadow boxers I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> and I he gets that, he gets that I message. I love a bit of boxing talk in the world. Um, I just think it's so fitting. It was. It was. I couldn't believe it. And um, yeah, and I just said uh, I haven't, but uh, I will now. Yeah. Um, and yeah. So the, king, he, the king of the gypsies met the king of the bed world, oh, basically. Yeah. And it, it, do you know what? He was just a proper lovely person, just sound. And his wife is, honestly, she is a lovely person as well. Um, Madhouse like, loads of kids running about, but yeah. I'm, I'm used to all that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they were proper sound about everything. And he's uh, been back in touch for some more yeah. stuff. Yeah, so. well, it's got back, they got straight back in touch, didn't they? After you, 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 well, you, you personalised his own bed, didn't you? Yeah. So like you made a, ve a one-off. Emperor size. Yeah. Seven, well, his mattress will be seven foot by seven well, foot. Well, how tall is he? He's touching well, he's seven six foot, foot nine, isn't he? Yeah. So like he, he just to say it fits in the bed like lengthways. Yeah. yeah. Safe to say I didn't need that size. <laughs> I've always like said that. one day I want an emperor size bed. <laughs> yeah. Mm. you got a bed off Phil as well, haven't you? I have. Yeah. What, your, yours was quite a crazy colour, wasn't it? No. That was no. the oh, sofa, wasn't it? That's yeah, couch, the innit? sofa. Yeah. Uh, which I got from your dad. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, really yeah. nice. It was in um, 
I can't remember if it's Aqua or... I can't remember what it was. It was something with What's an M. Was it M? Malad. Malad, yeah. yeah. Malad. Well, Malad. You, you sent me a picture of it, I think, and I was like, oh, that's yeah, a bit bold. tasty. It went, looked went round, unreal. Went round to his house. Wow, yeah. what a couch it is. My dad couldn't believe it. Yeah. Could not believe it. Yeah, I couldn't thank him enough. It was... Uh, yeah, it's amazing. And then he, he made yeah. an ex- he made a duplicate. Kitted kit your full house out. Yeah, literally. Same with me, to be fair. He made the exact same sofa and put it on the shop floor. You couldn't believe how nice it was. It was, it was yeah. really, really nice. Do you know really what? Nice Honestly, right, my dad makes the best sofas in the country. Like, the best. But he's just at that age, he doesn't want to go the way I've gone on Instagram and that. They all say it with me, I'll sell your sofas on Instagram for you, but he says, I'm too old for it. I, I don't want to be that busy, which... That's understandable. Enough. Enough. Yeah. It's a good job, really, because I don't like sofas. Nah. I've got no passion for sofas. No. Passion's beds only. <sighs> not really ass for sofas. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. I'm going to bring a sofa range out for anyone anyone on our Instagram that's watching this. We are going to be bringing a big sofa range out. You do eventually. do your cinema one though. I love the cinema sofas. That's half a bed. It's like it? a big bed in it. Pretty much a bed, yeah. 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 Bread, a bed with arms on. <sighs> yeah. Um, so in regards to the companies you collaborate with and stuff, are you just in touch with them every day? And you say just because I know what you're like with ideas. So you just um, thrown things. Do you know what? Most of the companies that we've worked with, like in terms of giveaways and that, they've messaged us. So like, uh, who's trying to think? So think, think of some big clothing brands. In the style, uh, Missy Empire. Um, I'm trying to think of someone else. I'm forgetting. All them lot. It's in the style, Missy Empire. Uh, oh, I don't know. I can't remember half the names. Yeah. And it's like, like, like fucking hell, why do you want to work with us? Yeah, you know I mean, and no, uh, I mean, well, well it's because of the people you are again. It's, it's like, like that meeting I went to the other day with that Christy home. Yeah, they've been going 178 years, and like we were sat in there like a little um, meeting room thing, and I was just sat there. We were obviously chatting away. We put loads of idea together, ideas together, and we've got some good ideas coming up. Um, we're going to be doing so much work together because they do like bedding and all like pillars and towels and all other accessories um and i'm sat there thinking why us like i'm just we're just a luxury bed company from down like there's so many big companies you could probably work with and they made me feel like i was the big company where they are a big company yeah and then joe was like afterwards he was like yeah but you don't realize how big your company is no you don't like i was like i know but i'm in i'm in the middle of it all yeah do you know what i mean like running about like headless chicken but can, can you imagine him in that meeting room imagine like if it if hey, it was you know if what? it was going to be half <laughs> semi serious, I bet he just lit it up with energy. Yeah, I think I did. Um, <laughs> They'll have been like, "Oh, what's going on here?" Yeah, <laughs> and he was like, ah. I just can't help myself. Can I say a few rad stuff? Yeah, I think someone's name popped up in the mix, and I just said exactly what I thought about. Yeah, so no, you don't mess about with that either. <laughs> um, it's but like, yeah, it's it, just it, about it was breaking like, people down, breaking barriers down, making people feel comfortable. That's what you do best. So for stuff like that, like. Mm, they'll they'll was, just love you, and that's why you get all the collaborations coming back to you. Because imagine, yeah. imagine one of your collaborations, right? The experience you give them, the energy you give them, and stuff like that. Imagine how many people they tell. Yeah. Oh, we've worked with Lushy Bedford Company. You want to meet Phil? He's he's class. He's <laughs> class. He's crazy, like, like but he's class. Jack in the box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's mint, man. I wonder what people think when they greet us. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I love coming here. This is like therapeutic. I know, like, Joe, Joe. He thinks I'm rad because I come twice a week. Yeah. But just like, yeah, I like to stay f- looking fresh because I'm obviously I have to do a lot of videos on Instagram and that. Can't be like looking fucking. You're actually known in here for that because like a lot of people like. Always, see me try, sit, Well, yeah. a lot of people see you. Yeah, fucking yeah. hell. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've met every client. <laughs> uh, you come like people come in. Oh, do people come in every week? I'm like, oh yeah, loads coming every week. We've got one that comes in twice a week. Yeah. Like, Who's that? Oh, it's Phil Luxury Bed. But it's like it's like it's like therapeutic, isn't it? Yeah. You get away. Well, I don't know. Like Mark's gonna start putting my phone in a locker. He said. Yeah. He's always on you his can't phone. Can't switch off. You can't. You can't. I'm there shaving his neck, and he's there with a the phone. So Mark and like Phil this. have this relationship. Obviously, he comes to see him twice a week. They're like they're like brothers now, but they're like brothers that like bicker. So like Mark's on a tight schedule. He's back to back every day. Phil comes in. Phil's like he's, he's, his apple he, cart. He, has, he, he has to come in and like feel the shop out a bit first. So he's like, who's in here? I like that. And then yeah. He sits down, but then he'll go, oh, wait there. And he'll go and get a drink and then he'll come and talk to me for a bit. And Mark is like stood there just fuming yeah. like that. Or, or halfway through the haircut, he'll just, you know, be on the phone or just yeah. jump up and I'm just stood on like, <laughs> my clippers are still going. He could have took half a chunk out of his hair. But I like, or, he'd, or shout something at random. Yeah. Or, yeah. Or when, he, when he's, uh, hold on. 
when he's like got the clippers on the side of me, I like, push it, push my head towards yeah. the clippers because I love the feeling of the clippers on the side of me. Yeah, like yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Just, yeah. Every time he does that, it just goes zip, zip, <laughs> zip. Yeah, or when you're doing his beard and he talks, yeah, oh, that's gonna have to go higher. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. I have to take your beard high, and then it has to come down a little bit. Each we have day. a good laugh though, don't we, Mark? Yeah. Give yeah, him a good slap. A big slap around the end. Yeah, it gives you, it gives you a good slap at the end. It's always when I got the towel on though, and I can't get up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. over this side, Nazi is. Ah. Can I get a high year? <laughs> Thought Mark was gonna uh, back me up there, like. <laughs> oh, no, sorry, not on camera. <laughs> so, in in regards to like. It, like the the uh, we touched on it a bit last time, but like if, if your advice for someone trying to grow their following, what's been the most pivotal moments for you for just raising it? Your content, really. Your content. Um, obviously, like working with the right people has helped, um, and I probably got on Instagram a lot earlier than some other people. But the people who are on it obviously use our photos and anyway, so it's not like. But it's your content. Um, get involved with a page. Get people to like you because people buy off people. Yeah. People buy off people. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So That's like a well-known... People buy off us because we, 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 we're engaging with them. Do you know what I mean? And I'm not doing it as a, a marketing strategy. No. I want to engage with people. I love building friendships with people. The thought of people purchasing from us. Do you know what I mean? And people loving our brand. I love the love building relationships with people, and obviously going back to your question is it's all about your content. Obviously, don't overdo it. There's loads of like ways of doing it, and do it this way, do it that way, and how many times you should post, and what time you should post. But find find out you like yourself what times, like what times and and and, and stuff, like you you see a, a big like What's engagement most popular and, yeah, for your audience. for you yeah, yeah. for you. Um, I know one tactic you used. Tactic. Fucking, hell, I always come up with weird words. Yeah. Like. Tactic. Do. Tactic. Tic show. Tic tac. <laughs> on this show, um, you used to engage with your customers and you used to get them to really try and make get their own good picture, didn't you? So yeah. then all of a sudden you've got thousands and thousands of you pictures know what, coming right, back. Some customers on some home accounts that be watching this, obviously. We do try and post as many customer photos as we can, and we only post post customer images. But we have that many coming in. I, I wouldn't be able to post them all because, like, if you post so many times in a day or too much, you literally you will just lose all your engagement, and nobody will see your page. So you've got to, you've got to balance it out. Yeah. And obviously, we do a lot of updates, um, videos, and. So it's, it's hard to balance it. Have you ever come across like bad photos when you're like, oh, fuck it up, cheers. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I know I've said it with a few bad ones <laughs> where I'm like, I haven't even put the bedding yeah, on. It's normally, there's no, you know no, no bedding on, no lampshade. You know I was like, oh, there you go. <laughs> it, yeah, it's normally people you know, friends or family. Yeah. They'll just take a photo on the top of the bed. Yeah, yeah, Or yeah. like, you'll like, you'll get half the bed in and I'm like, it's all right, your family, I don't really need to post it anyway, so... Yeah, yeah just leave it. I'll come round <laughs> and and do it myself. But uh, no, uh, uh, everyone, they're buying a luxury bed. Yeah, they're buying a bed from the luxury bed company. Yeah, um, they want their bed to be on and on the page. So. It's 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 something that's gonna set set their room off. It's a big statement piece in the bedroom. It's it's an in, like it's I wouldn't say investment because it's not like they're getting anything out of it. But they it's do like, they get a bit of pleasure from doing it, don't they? Yeah, like and and a lot of people who are home accounts. It looks good for their page as well. Do you know what I mean? Did you not take a... I thought you'd have... I, I was going to, but I was still... The room wasn't finished at uh, that time. And then it was about six months later. And then I totally forgot. And I'm, I challenge yeah. you to just take a beauty. Right, yeah. I yeah. The, to be fair, the room is still isn't finished. Oh, <laughs> it's not finished, man. You've put off plans with us. I imagine Mark has like three big squares of different colours on the back wall. No. Uh, no you mean, can't and decide. he's still deciding now. No, do you know what? The, the room's done. It's just the little bits that make like set the room off. And I, I wouldn't. You wanna... told me that you every room's like a showroom. Downstairs, <laughs> <laughs> there's stuff that people see upstairs. I'm like, uh, upstairs in your house doesn't matter, does yeah. it? Yeah, it's downstairs. Right. I've got yeah. a nice bed. I've got a yeah. telly in there. What more do you need? Yeah, exactly. A nice bed, eh? Very nice bed. Very Remember nice why, bed. Uh, we, won't, we don't have to repeat it, but he, yeah. he asked me to give a review of my bed, and I sent him this voice note. I think he sent it to about hundred people. Yeah. Yeah. 
Good shag. I'm not saying anything. No, yeah, so it's just content is a major thing. Con- like, working out the best time working for out, you. Yeah, working out your, like, what's best for you, what you what you feel best. I don't want to give too much away because obviously you'll get bed companies that spy. We get bed companies that watch our story. You get bed companies that follow us. And it's got blocks right away. Yeah. You've had a bit of trouble with that, actually, haven't you? Like people. Listen, I've got to that. the point now where people know who the luxury bed company are. And a lot of people use our photos. I was driving down the motorway the other day. I said, I said to you, I said, I'm going to mention this on the podcast. Driving down the motorway, M62. And then on the side, there's big farmer's fields. They always have, like, the the lorries. was obviously not the, the cab. Farmer's on type thing. But the uh, thing is that. It was a big company advertising. Vol photos. Never. Yeah, I swear down. On and I just looked of, and I thought, do you know what? It made me feel quite proud that a, a big bed company that I was paid a, like for a big advertisement on the side of the road and they're using my photos with my products. And that's good. Do you know what? If, but if, if, if all I will say is just be careful when purchasing off people who use other people's photos. But you're dead right. It's what it is, isn't it? But if, yeah. if a lot of people could take that attitude, actually. So when, if someone you feel Imagine like has copied your your service or something like that, just take it as a compliment and it just do, keep doing what you're doing. Don't get bitter about yeah. it because you only... Like, what, what, is what, it? what have we talked about? Loads. Sorry, Mark. And we talk about it loads where if you gossip or something like that, all you're doing is spreading negativity. Yeah. On so you, that's like... Turn, even if it's someone else doing it. That's turning a negative into a positive. Yeah. Obviously, it frustrated me for years. But um, it's mad that companies have to use my photos and it's like... So I'm, I'm lead, I'm leading the way then, which is like it's a nice reminder. It's letting me know that like, oh, there's my picture on a, on yeah. a lorry there. I'm well, still winning. Someone else is. That's what they else say, else. isn't it? Imitation's the highest form of flattery. Yeah, mm. no, it definitely is. So and if that people looked at like it, that, is. So, yeah, there's nothing I can do about it now until I get my verification. <laughs> Getting back in the normal echo. How do you get a verification? I've Believe always... you me, if you're like. Just like someone who's on telly or whatever, like celebrity, it's easy. Just yeah. upload your ID, passport, or whatever. For a business, I know how to do it. I'm in the process of doing it. But is there an application? There is an application, but it's hard. It's it's not easy. There's things that you've got to do on the outside of the application. Right. But but you're getting there. I'm getting there. Because it was funny we were talking about this the other day, and my, my, my mate Tom won't mind me saying this, but Tom Catrick used to play for the Falcons rugby team. Uh, he's, he, he's, I don't know, he's got one for 2,000 followers and he got a blue tick years ago. Yeah. But obviously it was t- to do yeah. with them um, outside activities. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a lot of good things in the pipeline though at the minute. Oh, so much. And like, just through trying to, well, just through working with people, you, you, it's like, it's networking, isn't it? So like lately, I've just been getting put on to different people about different things and different things in business and different things in life. And it's good. But it's not like, you, you make friends with these people. And you work with them regularly. And some of the things we've got in the pipeline at the minute, man, is unbelievable. Well, this is, this is it's you, that, isn't it? It's the, the thing that it never stops. And you've mm. always got something, something to go for. Constant goals. But with... Always um, pushing. So when we go back to influence, I mean, you, you have collaborated with loads now. Oh, do you know what? I wouldn't even say hundreds. We're talking thousand hundreds 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 um, and I, I mean they a lot of them will have been pivotal and getting the phone up no, everybody sees a celebrity or sees this person or whoever it is and they just think collaboration not everyone's a collaboration do you know what I mean yeah someone buys we'll contact them and say oh, can we come and come out meet you some photos and that because it's obviously it's good for your page yeah a lot of them are your friends now as well a lot of people like some customers are looking think, oh why is celebrities getting so much better treatment they're not no one who gets better treatment everyone's the same yeah especially when it, uh, collaborations and that it goes on the system and it gets delivered in the same time as what it would for a normal customer do you know what I mean but some people are like oh how come like rich people get free beds it's not about them getting a free bed we're working together Rather than me just throwing loads of money at Google or SEOs or whatever all that, whatever it is, to be ranked up in here and people ring yeah. you, I can get you ranked at the top of Google. Why would I do that? 
it's just the same as investing money into an advertisement. Like, if they've got a platform with big following, then I'm gonna, we're working together. It's not just, here, there's a free bed. Oh, I feel sorry yeah. for you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Some people are like, oh, my cat's dying. Can I get a free bed? But you'll give a free bed to so-and-so. I didn't just get a free bed. We work, we work, we work together. Yeah, they still give you, there was something, some there's, benefit for your company. Yeah, there's benefit for us and benefit for that's them. That's it, yeah. yeah. Equal benefit for yeah. both people. 100%. Yeah. And that's, like yeah, them, yeah, I think a lot of people overlook that. Yeah. But that's just a small percentage of petty people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we don't get worried about them. Yeah. But, I mean, you, you, it is good when you do meet people like Tyson Fury and that. And oh, of course it is, man. Oh. I mean, is, is, I mean, is he a hero? He's a he's a massive inspiration. Yeah, yeah, massive inspiration. I was watching a podcast of his the other week. There's a couple of things he said that just can't just 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 instantly changed my mood about certain things in life. Not my mood there and then about certain things. Me like changed like the way I looked at things. And he's just a massive inspiration. He? And he's real. He's yeah. real. It's um, about as real as you can get. Like yeah, definitely. He is. It's. He's very. He speaks with so much clarity now as well. Because yeah. you feel like he's gone to the depths. Obviously, he said he wanted. He wanted to kill himself every day, mm. and he's gone there, and he's come back, and he's seen the light, and now he like. He, you can see. You can see. He his really glow wants now. to make an impact on other people's lives. Yeah. You can see every every time he speaks or every every message he's trying to get out is is to to make people feel different, and he does because I watched a, pod, a podcast of his, and instantly I just felt different about some different things in life, and there was some things he said, and I was just like, oh, fucking hell. Like, I'm gonna punch your yeah. face in, you prick. That was beautiful, <laughs> that one, one, isn't it? <laughs> I wanna punch your fucking face in, you prick. I was about that for a fucking message. <laughs> <laughs> it, oh, funny. it was good, like, it, and like Paris was just like, get the belt out of the cupboard. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I'm not doing that. And then Joe, Joe Chris just straight away, belt out of the cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> Joe jumping about with a WBC or whatever it is. Oh, no. that's bent, man. But that's okay. like, it's just, again, who you are, the company you are, that opened up opportunities like that, that's yeah. all. Uh, you got you got right up in the paper for that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that, again, it shows that it was the Northern Echo, wasn't it? Northern Echo, yeah. So it shows how proud the town were of you for doing that yeah. as well. And I mean, that's a drop in the ocean, really. It's what's got you to that point, which is what people are proud Obviously, of. Obviously, Northern Echo is on like Facebook and that. I'm not on Facebook, so I don't see it getting shared about. I'd, I'd seen it in the paper. I'm not on Facebook. Do you know what I mean? And I don't really see what happens on my luxury bed company Facebook. I drop in now and again. And then like, obviously, people that work on lads and that were saying, oh, there's loads of people sharing, like, sharing the article on Facebook. And I just think, I kind of forgotten the thought. Like I, like I forgot that there will be people who comment on it and, and 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 sharing it and stuff, but I don't see all what goes on on Facebook. Do you know what I mean? And uh, I was like, it was it made me quite happy that people were sharing it, people were commenting. Um, I just imagine people were seeing it in the paper. Yeah. Or on, online. I did see the online one, obviously, but not through Facebook. Yeah. Just like the normal like app website. Whatever. I've yeah. got a question from you. But actually, it's well off topic. This. Go on. How many pair, how many pair, pairs of brand new socks do you buy a week? Because every house you go into, you've got a brand new pair of socks on. They are very white. I've just it's just clicked there. Is it clicked? Yeah. yeah. He's got <laughs> very white. Pairs. You must have a new I pair got, of socks. If I'm in JD, knowing what he's like. If I'm in JD, I'll top up on socks. Yeah, I do. Because <laughs> they go they go nitty and frail, don't they? They're I know white, what you mean. Yeah. Do you chuck them nice. out or do you sock? Do you also? No, I've, honestly, I've got drawers and drawers of socks. I was going to say, what's your sock drawer like? <sighs> what's your go to as well? Is it white Nikes? White Nikes. Yeah. Y'all's black Nikes, aren't they? I've got, well, I've got both. Yeah, I yeah. have white Nikes. Yeah. But you can't wear them with all black trainers. It's odd. No, no, no. They've no, got no. to have a white sole, as I like. Yeah. yeah. Phil's oh. got 700 pairs of trainers. Every one has got the same characteristic. The black with a white sole. Right. You can't beat them. No, Apart I'm from smart. these. No, I've got them, but I'm all black, so there's no white. Or anything. It is method in his madness. Yeah. He's yeah. got everyone will notice. I'm no fashion guru, now. like believe you me, but everyone will notice he has brand new socks. But I I thought it was just respect a bit as well. Like you're going to someone's house, you've got the freshest white socks on. I mean, if you went in it, well, you don't get shoes off, you've got all the oh, in a Victoria out. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the Northern Echo next to Fury on a brand new bed with all his sock. Yeah. <laughs> I had a pair of uh trainer socks on that way, I think. Oh yeah, I've seen a few pairs of them as well. Yeah. yeah. I never noticed that, but I, I are you were a, a trainer sock man? I've got someone right now. Oh, no, 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 they're, not, they're not like the 
like they don't go that halfway down your foot though. Oh, you know what, it, I mean? like, what are they called? They're called ankle sock. No, no. pop socks. Oh god, is that the ones that like where you can't see them? Yeah, invisible. Yeah, yeah. I, I had some. Oh yeah, them. They're, they're yeah. all right for when you're going older. Now. Yeah, well, like, I, I think yeah. Yeah. yeah, certain shoes, certain outfits that you wear. Then yeah. if you don't want to show that you've got socks on, then yeah, I have yeah. I have been known to wear them in the Cause past. Because them you can still see, can't yeah, you? Yeah, but I think generally. I think a bit of sock at top. I got Mark, Mark's footwear is about comfort. <laughs> yeah, it really is. It really is. They're the ones with the big fat sole thing at the, not the sole, like a uh, big cushion at the back. Yeah, don't forget, I'm on my feet all day to, and I've just finished to, uh, work. He wants They're to wear thick underarm ones, aren't they? I had the, yeah, yeah I, you used I, to have them. I had the underarm ones. Do you know what underarm socks are? You're sweating them. Yeah, no brief, did I? No. No. He, he wants to wear sketches for work, but I've banned them. Yeah, do you job. know what, right? I was going to get an all, a pair of all black sketches, the little slip ons. Yeah. I'm telling you now. Do you know what? I've never heard anyone who. I don't know if it's a Crocs thing, no. Whoever wears sketches, they don't have a bad word to say. They're like the comfiest shoe I've ever worn. Yeah. Have you worn any? I've never worn them. No. But I, I, I want I a good all black pair. Yeah. And do you, if you know what? You can get some that don't look far different from what you're Yeah, wearing. they're getting better. They're getting better. Yeah, what do you mean, are. getting better? Get they're fine. No, they're not fine yet. We'll get some all leather. They're getting ones. quite stylish, aren't they? No. Get Velcro. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was actually, I was in the gym the other day and um, there was two blokes on about sketches and they were just like, one of them was like, I've resorted to them, mate. I've resorted to them, but. My God, there's the comfiest pair of trainers I've ever had in my life. Like, I think if we're in a job where we have to stand up all day, it's acceptable to wear a pair of sketches. I reckon. Right, I can allow that. one. It's one or the what? other. Sketches or Crocs. Crocs. Can I just point some <laughs> out though? Could you imagine Jay in a pair of sketches? No, but he loves Crocs. Yeah. Does he? He loves them. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing with yeah, Crocs is, I was like, obviously, our shoes get covered in hair. So uh, crocs, go, crocs have got holes in. Surely they've made a pair of Crocs without holes in them. Well, oh, well, man, obviously have that sort of that, uh, yeah, that yeah. suede. He's got off-roaders in. Off-roaders. They've got, oh, yeah. they've got the suede strap, top. Strap, strap, Gar- garden shoes. Garden shoes. Oh, That's what they are, aren't they? Garden shoes. But yeah, they've got a suede top. So yours are the smartest Crocs I've seen. I will, I will say that. Yeah. You Still cro- shit though. You can get Crocs with heels and everything now. Fuck off. Yeah. Yeah, Crocs are gonna go massive, aren't they? Do you remember clogs? I remember clogs. Oh, I love clogs. Weren't they very similar to... No, no man, clogs are the big German things. <laughs> oh, right, I thought, I thought it was like a, a thing. I've seen yeah, the two clogs, big yeah. giant clogs in Amsterdam that you can stand Yeah, on. well, I... What about um, kickers and bootlegs? When you used to get boots. Kickers, I used to wear kickers school. Kickers, yeah, I had a couple of pairs yeah, of the kickers. little tag on them. Rock yeah, parts. Like a, rock yeah. parts all day. What colour rock parts did you wear? I used to have the all black ones. Yeah. Well, when, obviously, my brother was 11 years older than me, so he knew what was in at the time. So he used to get people come with a big gold trim and that on. And he just had me in the all black ones. All black were mint, solid. Yeah. My first yeah. pair were dark brown, just all dark brown. They were, but they're only size five, so they're like small kids. Do they still do rock pots? Well, I yeah, well, I got yeah. some. Is M and M Sports still kicking about? Who M and M? Did you used to order them from there? Yeah, yeah. Remember the magazine, not the catalog. You used to get M and M. Ah, remember that. And then it went online to M and M Direct. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You should go in the catalog and do it first, did. didn't you? Rock pots. But then yeah. I had uh, a dark brown. Then I got a bright pair of orange ones. <laughs> Ooh. And I wasn't allowed them, but fucking used to get detention even off every day for them. And then I got the black ones with a white stitching. Yeah. And I think I've still got them somewhere. Is that not with a silver trim? Didn't have no, because I know that they had like the silver square on the side. Yeah. And like, the reflector on the back. I just had the all blacks. Rock bars yeah. are a fucking good boot. They were. I'd I wear them. I wish yeah. they were in fashion now. You could mooch in them. You could mooch. Yeah. Do you think? Well, I. You could walk fast in them. Their skinnies on. <laughs> <laughs> Mint man. Rockies. My, Rockies were loud near you. Rock parts. Wear rock yeah. parts at work. I quite like, yeah. I like rock parts. Bit of height as well. Timberlands as well. They were always a. Uh, Never had Timberlands. Did you not? I had, yeah. <coughs> I think I had one of each. I was divvy for Timberlands. Did you have rock parts? Sorry, Mark. I had rock parts and I had Timberlands. We've just skipped over that. Yeah. What? Yeah, rock parts. Did you have a chav cut, Mark? No. Like a haircut? Like, yeah, like zero back and sides. And like... No, I was always a one one back and sides for a while and then it went to a half back and well, sides. Well, yeah, that's, right. that's. But I, I had the V. I don't know if you can. V? Like a. Yeah, I know what you yeah, mean. Yeah, yeah. What, a mullet? Pretty much, yeah, like, yeah, the, like one of them. Yeah, yeah I never had a mullet. Mate. mullet I never I had the squiggly lines in my head. Maybe it's time for a mullet then. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, you're doing a mullet, mullet, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, you look well. I've said it on here <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the thing is, though, no, it's trip me up. Go the, on. the thing we're about to talk about in a minute. What in November? Nah, it doesn't matter. I, I can't have one of them in the like, fuck off, of course, you can. Yeah, you'd be the talk of the party. I'll get booted out. Phil will be like, get out with that. A free get piece, a free piece suit. What? So hold on, I'm not. I'm gonna jump me. What he's actually gonna? What he's gonna? He's gonna wear? 
I'm, 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 I'm going to be, might be similar What is to you. the dress code? Smart. So are we on to the, do you want to open the, the subject so Why not? people know what we're going to be talking about? So basically your next, well, one of your next big moves, which you've just released a little promo video about. Yeah, so I've always is, wanted to do this, you know. You've always wanted to do it. You spoke to us about it last year before lockdown. And one of your main things in life is you just always want everyone around you to have a good time. Yeah. So you've decided to uh, throw a Christmas party. Uh, a bit That's of a the ball. biggest understatement I've ever heard in my life. I'm getting yeah, into I've, it. I've, <laughs> throw, throw a Christmas, Christmas, party. Christmas party. There's a few crackers in yeah, there. Uh, and a, bit of, a bit of a ball. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to take away the word ball away because it's it, it's like it's a party. It sounds like a ball. A Christmas yeah. do. A big Christmas do where customers. Like customers, followers, um, small business that worked with, uh, anyone that we've worked with, just anyone in general can come to. Um, it's not mainly for us. It's obviously because, like you say, we've got this big world on Instagram. We've got so many friends, so many people we've worked with. All the interior, there's like a big, massive interior world on Instagram. And like, yes, it's going to be good for us to meet everyone. I want to see everyone. I want to meet everyone. I want to know half of these people who I communicate with, I want to see them and and everyone enjoy enjoy and have a party, but mainly for all them to meet because there's so many people on Instagram that are friends in the interior industry, in this big world of interior and home accounts. And like, there's so many people excited to see each other who don't even, who've probably spoke to each other for years, who've not even put, like, seen each other like face to face. So it's mainly for them as well. I want them all to gather up. So we're putting the party on so they can gather up. All of us have a good time and it'll be good. Um, I think it'll be more than good, yeah. I mean... It's going to be electric. <laughs> you put the, the promo video the other, the other night and uh, I messaged you straight away and I watched it. And I'm just sat at home and I was just like all comfy on the couch and that. And I just put it on. And I like this like, like really nice music came on. And it's just me brother Phil just... just talking in the most happiest smiley voice explaining that he just wants to put on a massive event for everyone around him to just have the best time ever and he's shown you and i'm just like oh nearly started crying ross sent me a couple of uh <laughs> With emotional soppy. messages With yeah. soppy. So, soppy messages yeah I but was we like, bastard do you know how proud i was at that moment of just seeing you, him i was just like just because uh, of the core message of why you're doing it of just Giving it's back just, and just... It's something I've always wanted to do. But like two or three years ago, I knew we were one, we weren't big enough. And two, we had so much, so many more people to meet in the in the process in the meantime. So many more relationships to build. And obviously, um, we've done that little bit of thing at Blue Water where people came from all over to visit us. And other home accounts and brand ambassadors and that all got to meet each other. So I was like, right, the time's definitely... Once we left Blue... When we left Blue Water and packed up, well, not me, I didn't pack up, but um, Joe and Callum, thanks lads. <laughs> uh, I had Isabel that weekend. Straight after it, I went, right, Christmas ball, Christmas party, we, we need to do it. And then we kind of strung it along because we didn't really know where we wanted it. We didn't really have anywhere planned. And then we went to an event at the Shankly Hotel, uh, like some Love Island Lawns event. Where's the <clears> Shankly at? Liverpool. It's a really, really nice hotel. I thought it was Manchester, so that's that's a good. Thing. I thought it was Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because I told you. Yeah. We went. I only booked apartments for in Manchester. <laughs> the black. So we're we there went on the to, train. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Phil, we're here. <laughs> yeah. Where's this hotel? We're at? in Greater Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> we're at Piccadilly. Can you pick us up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought that fancy. It? <laughs> to be fair, two and a half an hour or something, twenty yeah. minutes. So went to the Shankly Hotel to this event, and it was only me and Joe could really make it because it was a Monday night. We, we need people in the office. Uh, me and Joe were actually at Blue Water Shopping Centre at the time at that uh, event with a stall and everything. So we flew up to Liverpool. We had like, uh, we had the do there. We had a big bed on display and everything. Our logo was everywhere because we sponsored the event. And like, we just instantly built a mint relationship with some of the people that work there. Um, a last called Kemi, Kaya. Uh, they looked after us. Can we All see night. the pattern here, by the way? Sorry to interrupt, Phil. Like, every, everyone he meets, 
uh, the collaborations or the companies or the places he goes to, oh, we, 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 we just create this mint relationship. It was, this is what <clears> I'm trying to say. It was like full of influencers. It was a big influence party. That's all it really was. So me and Joe were the odd ones out. And I don't know what it was, but we ended up building this mint relationship with like the people that work there and the kind of, I'd like to think they like us. Um, and then we just, on the night, I just said, look, we want to do a Christmas party. So the last was like, the only, only, only Saturday I've got available is 27th of November. So right, pencil me in. Done a little deal, made a little, a little deal there and then. Um, and then we went down a couple of weeks ago to do that promo video. And it was just like the reception we got off them was unbelievable. I like just proper down to earth people. And they were so happy to see us. And they were like excited about this party. They've been giving us loads of ideas what to do. So we've got loads up our sleeve that some, I won't even go into it. Um, and they, they've just been mint with us. And like, I feel like they're our friends now. We've made a friendship with them. And I even got to meet the owner. Well, the woman who owns it, um, I think it's like a man and woman. She she was even there on the day we were doing our promo video on that. And it was just nice to meet the woman. And she was just like, oh, um, I had a bit of crack on that. And she was just like, can't wait to see what your party's going to be like. I said, it's going to be the best party you've ever had here. <laughs> I promise. It'll be and even like the, even yeah, like the, yeah. meet, like the, the social media team and that, they were like, oh, can we come to the party? Because obviously they only work for the day. Do you know what I mean? I was like, of course you can. Well, I you're can. there. Do you know what I mean? You're, like, you're, you're there. But yeah, uh, main reason putting it on is to get everyone together in the in the interior world, in the in the interior industry, all the people that we've worked with on Instagram, um, even like the small businesses and that. Just good to for everyone to get together and like there's this big massive community where everyone's working with each other every day, everyone's communicating every day, doing giveaways and just people are like friends on Instagram. So why not bring everyone together? Let everyone meet each other. Do you know what I mean? Life's too short to just keep communicating with all these friends you've got on social media, all these businesses that you've built relationships with. Let us all get together and just party. Such an amazing message, I think. Yeah, it? it is. Obviously, we've had a few people from Dallas who's interested, which it's anyone's welcome. Any, any friends, obviously, you's are coming. And uh, we've had a few, silly, mess up, few <laughs> silly messages like, oh, is Tyson Fury going to be there? There isn't going to be any big celebrity names, so if you're going to be turning up your autograph book, yeah, save it. Yeah. Um, well, I don't mind people coming. First like, thing. Listen, I, it's it, it's it's anyone's welcome. Do you know what I mean? Like, I want people to come. It's going to be good. That you know was the I mean? first thing my sister texted me. She blessed yeah, me. Yeah, we had a couple of people. She was like, Ross, it's Tyson Fury going to Phil's party. I was like, oh. I said, calm down, sis. Chill yeah. out. Get your autograph, right. autograph book put away. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's... But, um, yeah, uh, like you say, anyone's welcome. It's an welcome. venue. I think it's going to go on sale, um, obviously. So anyone watching this now, it'll be Sunday evening. I'm going to put the tickets on sale on Monday evening. So tomorrow night, if you're watching, um, be... tickets go on sale. It's now. going to be twenty pound a ticket. That's just so it secures your place, and when you pay for something, you appreciate it more. Do you know what I mean? Listen, so, yeah. I, I know what I know. The person you are, twenty quid for this party is going to be pennies. Yeah, it's just it's just so that people like if someone orders five or six tickets, then they don't turn up because we've only got like uh, like a cap on how many people go. We've got like there's a capacity. Do you know what I mean? Uh, a maximum capacity of, I think it's like 250 people. Um, someone orders five, six tickets, and then a few people that do that don't turn up, but other people got knocked back because it, we were sold out, and it's a bit unfair. So if you pay for your ticket, you know you're coming. You're gonna pay. You're gonna come if you paid for your ticket. Yeah. All the people who are gonna, who really want to come, will buy a ticket. Yeah. Whereas you know if, it, I mean? if it was nothing, then anyone would just go, yes, I'm coming. Yeah. Yes, I'm coming. You'd have thousands of people. It's gonna be an amazing event. Like. It, yeah, charging a little bit like that, it just, it just like you say, it just secures, secu secures your place there. Yeah. Um, and I mean, we, we had a look at the promo video and it's got like a massive open like terrace bit on it. And I think but that remember, looks, it's going to be the end gonna of November. It's going to be cold. I know. I was but, thinking about this. Surely there's going to be heaters and that out there, probably. Well, uh, I'm yet to request um, some heaters and that. Depend, yeah. Let me just see um, if ball, we the, hit maximum capacity and stuff. The room's then massive anyway. I'm gonna, then we're going to organise from there. So obviously tickets will be going on sale tomorrow. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Uh, Monday. So from there we'll be able to see over the next couple of weeks how many tickets we've sold and then I can speak to them and say like, well look, this is how many tickets we've sold. What's the chances of getting some heaters outside because it'll be, do you know what I mean? We'll have I, a lot of smokers, I, I, a lot of vapors. Big vape you make over there. 
I have a feeling uh, that when the when you you're gonna be like, oh shit, <laughs> like there's gonna be a few more. I feel like it's gonna be a good Africans. turnout. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. Like, what are you saying? Are you, are you going uh, full free piece? Like, are you? I'm not. Well, <clears throat> I'm not going full free piece. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go like two tone. Yeah. So like, if, as if you were going to the races, he never I don't wants want to like, give out away. So I don't, I don't like probing him too much. Don't want to go he like he likes full a suit. But I am going to be like suited and booted. Where's I want tuxedo. I'm not. He's a magician. <laughs> He's a magician. Magic Mark for the night. I know. We're actually looking for a magician. He's well, going to wear. Being put onto one. Get that uh, silk um, jacket back out in your white t-shirt. Silk jacket. I just imagine silk. No, I don't think silk well. I think it was blazer. Tweed. 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 I can imagine yeah. Mark in a in a tuxedo with a pair of black sketches. <laughs> <laughs> do you know? Yeah. Do you know? It's off, uh, off Step Brothers. When they turn up to the interview in the tux, that's yeah. what I imagine you were like. Yeah, no. When the fart and that, and then they go, oh, that was funny, but like, now it's weird now. But uh, is it a suited thing then? No, it's not a suited thing. It's not like... we. What we've said is dress to impress. You're going to a Christmas party at the Shankly Hotel. Um, like People don't need to worry about wearing suits or wearing gowns or whatever, like a ball gown. Just dress, just dress, dress, just yeah, just dress, dress your you feel, best. I always how say, you feel dress best. what you feel comfortable in. Pair of shorts. Don't say that, man. <laughs> <laughs> He'll have his Crocs on. Pair well, of shorts. Yeah, everyone Crocs. will be making an effort, won't they? I'd imagine. Um, don't don't, don't, <laughs> don't test, test me. Don't yeah. test me. <laughs> Mark will turn up with his leather jacket on. Mr. Conflict. <laughs> yes. Denim jeans, leather jacket. I don't and conform. A pair of white leather I, don't, I don't conform to black tie. I'm going to wear my Crocs. I like. I enjoy wearing a suit. I, I mean, it doesn't matter what you've got on your feet, because you're going to be on your feet all night, really, aren't you? Dancing yeah, Crocs then. Yeah. Crocs and a suit. Suit and a Crocs, yeah. Suit and a Crocs, yeah. It's the only suit. time I ever dance in a suit, because it's at a wedding. I went like to the most uncomfortable thing to dance in. I was dancing me out. You're already was stiff there? enough. You don't need to be in oh, a suit no. as well. Do you know, there was a moment, right, where I just sobered up 2%. Yeah. And that 2% took me to a place where I didn't feel comfortable to dance anymore. Yeah, no. So I'm in the middle of doing the twist. I think we've like all John Travolta. Yeah. And you fucking... just wanted you just wanted to <laughs> Tasmanian devil off the dance floor. <laughs> yeah. I think we've Honestly, all been there though. But like I'm literally thinking thinking I'm on pole fiction and I'm like, yeah, I'm cool. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I go, Oh there wasn't anyone around me anymore. Oh, no. And everyone was in their own little groups. <laughs> <laughs> and I, You're and I'm, there. I'm in between. Twisting. <laughs> Like this. Twist. Look at I've got oh, my tie God. around my head right, and I'm twisting and I'm like, I'm twisting by myself so I just got shimmied off the dance floor. The tie around your head as <laughs> well. Oh, it's bedtime. I've had, I've, had definitely moments, your like, I've had a few of the moments where you feel a little comfortable dancing yeah. floor and you kind of shimmy off. Because when you're fully in the moment and you're the right amount of pissed, it's the best thing ever. Yeah. It's just like, yes, but then... Because you think there's everyone around you Yeah. doing the same thing. Because I probably had my eyes closed at that. Look at his face. Look like he's on the uh, cross trainer. <laughs> Ooh, 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 ooh. Twist, twist. Yeah, I've got this. Ross, oh, no, get off no, that floor. Get the fuck off. I want to get in the front room. an audience. <laughs> I should have. Then I just did a big skid. It's not worse when you're like uh, when you're on dance floor and there's loads of people still sat down on the tables watching the dance floor. Yeah. <sighs> and you catch them. Just please look please get up and have a dance. Yeah. I'm that person on the yeah. on the chair watching the dance floor. Judging. With your black leather jacket on. <laughs> and his sketches. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's the only time I dance. So I'll, I'll be dancing there because I'll, I'll probably wear a, some kind of suit. I'll have, I'll have a two-step. Two-step? A little two-step. Mark step. Bollocks, I know for a fact. We turn up there in suits, the tunes are bouncing. We've got a, a really good DJ. Like, it depends. You're yeah. dancing. Yeah, you, I reckon yeah. he, all, he knows ballroom. But I don't. It's, it's <laughs> you, gonna, you lead, you can ballroom It's going to be all feel-good <laughs> music <laughs> that get you going. None of this feel house good. stuff. No, obviously. You can't put house on for... Well, I don't know. What I mean. what the, Kids listen to these days. No, it's gonna be like feel good music. Yeah, like Billy Ocean, Red Light Spells Danger. Like you know, like your Black wedding Be- song. Black Betty. Oh, Black Betty's got to come on. <laughs> oh, Black Betty, bear my name. He fucking loves Black Betty. Oh, man. Black Betty. I'll, uh, yeah. Can you imagine? I'll uh, definitely be having a boogie then. Yeah. Yeah, they're your type of tunes, Emma. Yeah, yeah, I can, yeah. I can cope. We're on the dance floor. You're in a private with me, you know. Emma. Yeah. Lovely. And I, I, I'm, I, I'm lodging over apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Phil comes in and all hell breaks loose. Yeah. Yeah. I think we. Uh, I think me, you, and Jay will have to go down and then who else? Oh, Gibbo's coming. Is he? Yeah. Gibbo's coming. He's excited. Isn't he. Oh wow! I showed him the video. He was like, 
sat there and I was like, oh my God. He said, I'm taking two weeks off. I'm cancelling work. <laughs> oh, he's excited, like. No, so that's that's coming up. Tickets are going on sale tomorrow. Tomorrow. So that's, it'll now. be Monday. Well, there, let me guess. <laughs> I don't even know what date we're on now, so I can't even. I don't know what date we're on. Um, What are you, discombobulated? Oh, I'm always discombobulated, Ross. Monday the 4th of October, that'll be. Oh, it's my birthday soon. When's that? The 12th of October. Just in case anyone wants to send me a card or a message or a present. (laughs) Fire it across. Are you going to send Phil a card? No. No, okay. I'm actually booked in on my birthday, I think, because it's a Tuesday, isn't it? I know I'm coming Tuesdays. So I'm going to come, I think I I'm coming in on dinner time. I thought Wednesdays you were booked in. Oh, man, stop. Yes. No, right. My new day is now Wednesday, but that week I'm going to get obviously get my hair cut on the Tuesday, on the day of my birthday. I was going to come in the morning, but who knows what will happen the night before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely at least midday. So midday, about one o'clock, I'm coming in, two o'clock. It's fine by me. So mate. just so you know. Yep. That's, right. Yeah, fine. Your birthday. We'll have to get a few pranks ready for him. Yeah. All dressed up. An extra big slap. <laughs> double slap. Oh, can you not double double up my appointment so it's like two hours so I can just lay <laughs> hot towel hey, then if, a cold towel. If you want to sit there for two hours and I'll do nothing. Have the full day if you want, Phil. That's fine. But <laughs> Am I I'm, the only person that gets a hot towel and then a freezing cold ice towel at the end? I mean, I did it once for you, I think, when you were slightly hungover. And now slightly. I get requested every time. Listen, that's yeah. a, that's a two. When I lived in my apartment up there. <laughs> I was like, I'm walking down, I'm dying. <laughs> oh. The Only people that come uh, twice a week get three different temperatures of towels. Yeah. <sighs> and three different temperatures of uh, water with a hair wash. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I love getting my hair washed. Did you, get, did you get the cold rinse at the end? He does, he does. Yeah. I get, I, when I get in the shower in the morning, I wash myself with hot water and then I put the cold on for about 30 seconds and just... <gasps> yeah. <gasps> I'll do that. It's mint like. Yeah. Cold I did shower. It, gets harder. it gets harder. I did it tonight before I, before I uh, come here. Just Fresh and a little bit of alert. That's probably why I did it. I know, guaranteed. Still got a banging headache now. What it is, what it is, isn't it? I could sit here and talk all night, mate. What's next? Well, I, um, so um, with with that party as well, so yeah, you won't be able to tell us what's going on, will you? I've got some good ideas, but... Go on, spill the beans. <sighs> no, I'm not spilling the beans. tell everybody. Oh. No, no. You have got some, you're going to have some beds kicking about. I, that I'm going to have, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a big, massive cinema sofa on display. Big cinema sofa with props and that on it. Obviously, it'll have like some form of wall behind it with looks very company on it. And it'll have the props on it. So it's inviting, tells you what it is. But like, so say that's like the width of it. It's going to be a big ring light like that on that corner of it and a big ring light there facing down on it. And then obviously... There'll be a photographer kicking about. Anyone that jumps on, putting like fucking wigs on or whatever on the cinema sofa, and then yeah, because I think that's going to be like it, your little, you know, like your photo. Instead of hiring a photo shoot booth thing, we'll do our own, but with our products, and then we might have one big statement piece bed, like big statement bed on display for people just to fucking jump about on and play twelve monkeys, or whatever it is two little monkeys, yeah. Do you know that game? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I think I've... Yeah. Well, yeah, I've heard the song before. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to have a big cinema sofa on display. So if you like, if you're a little bit fucked and you need five minutes, go get on the cinema sofa. Sounds good to me, that. Yeah. I think I might, I might need to report to that after your, times. Uh, after your twist. Yeah, after, yeah. after I've realised that. A few, no, a few I'm heart to heart. myself. Yeah, go bury your head in the... Uh... <laughs> me and Ross are starting getting deep on there. A few heart to hearts. Oh, yeah, talked about getting deep. Do you know um, what Phil does with me now, right? Every couple of weeks... Out of the blue, I just get a text saying, remember where you've been, remember where you are now, remember that once in your past you wanted to be where you are now, take a moment right now and just think about it. And this is the type of relationship we've kind of got now where both of us, out of the blue, will just remind each other. And I think, how good's that? You should though. Should all, like, sometimes you beat yourself up, don't you? A lot of times. But when positive energy becomes like your currency, you you kind of not blowing your own trumpet. You you remind yourself. So sometimes I'll sit and just think about where where I have been and where where I was, where I am now. And you look and you think, like once over, 
you wished for everything that you've got now. So just be grateful and be happy for what you've got and who you've got whilst you've got them. Um, 100%. But we always so go I like about, to send reminders out. We always go on about this glow, don't we? Like when, you, when you're on it, you're glowing. Well, yeah. Everyone has that glow. Everyone. But Everyone's got that glow. Just need reminding that they've, they've got that glow. But the, everyone's got the glow. And everyone's got this huge glow. And there's Sorry. maybe certain things in life that you just need to need to get rid of to, to for that glow to come out. And you just don't know that. Yeah. Just like little habits. Habits. Certain habits. Um not being hung over all the time. That helps. Um certain people around you who maybe dragging you down or just any anything i'm not i'm not saying this i'm not pointing any fingers to anyone or i'm not saying anything like um that i've experienced but i've but like basically was from you get rid of like little habits that you feel like aren't productive for you do you know what i mean and you start seeing the glow come out yeah. more and more 100 percent. and like if you're sat there now and you're listening to this and you don't feel like you have a person in your life, family, friends, or anyone like that, that when you talk to them, you don't feel that positive energy, then go and find one. Go and fucking find one. Do you know one. what? I seen someone on Instagram today. Because sometimes I, if I bump into someone and they're just so negative and in such a negative mood, it drags me down, you know. And I think, why, what have I done wrong? But I seen something today. Don't be dragged down by negative people. That's their problem. Yeah. That's a them problem. Yeah, 100%. stay positive. If you if you've had like you know, if you've bumped into someone that's got this negative energy in them, don't walk away feeling negative and like that's their problem. Hundred percent. That is their problem. Stay positive. Yeah. And just one of the one of the most important things as well is that all the the negativity and stuff like that. It's you control it. It doesn't yeah. matter what people do to you or what people can drag you. The people it, it does happen. But make sure you're able to just drag yourself out of it because you actually control what goes on in your head at the end yeah, of the day. You, you control, control you. every bit of it. Every bit of negativity that is on you, you've created it. No one else. You've allowed it to happen to you. 100%. Yeah. But it's it's just never it's never more important now today to surround yourself with people that big you up. You do, do it to yourself, but if you're not surrounding yourself with the right people, you say it, we say it again and again and again. But we're in a very distracted world at the minute. Just surround yourself yeah. with the right people. Do you know the world at the minute is one big massive rat race? Mental. Everyone's in competition with each other. Everyone's looking at people who are a little bit not ahead. No one's ahead of you. No one's ahead of you. But naturally you feel you look at someone, oh, they've got a house, they've got a nice car. And you they, they people get sickened by it. And you think, feel like you you've got you you're trying to catch up to them people who are, who are already look like they've got a mint business. Just stay in your own lane, stick to what you love doing, do what you do best, and just just chip away every day at your goals and 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 one step at a time, and you'll get the things that you want in life. Do you know what I mean? Don't look around you and like, oh well, he's got a mortgage or he's got a house or and he's got this car or she's this or she's that or. Like, focus on yourself. Blinkers on. Don't look around you. Definitely. Just focus on what you want and your goals because they're not, they're on a different path to you. They're on a different journey. Do you know what I mean? So you can't compare yourself to anyone else. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And you have when you're younger. I did when I was younger, 18, 19. You look at like all the lads or people, you think, oh, I've got a fucking house, I've got all cars. And you get a little bit of thing, like, oh, I want to. But that's can be a good thing because it makes you hungry yeah but don't ever feel like don't put yourself you've got, down don't put yourself it, in competition yeah. with people you're in your lane you're in your own journey just stick to it and you'll get to where you want to be why do you think but where do we want to be why do you think you've got this you've got this attitude pretty naturally i think i just think it's experience yeah experience a lot of experience trying to fucking build the company to where it is. Yeah. And it's not even anywhere. It's it's nowhere near to where I want it to go. But listen, I'm very grateful for where it's at. And if it stays where it's at right now, I'll be happy for the rest of my life. Um, could be worse. Could be better. Um, 
but I'll keep trying to progress and develop. And I know where I want to be. There, I've got a target. Um, but I do, like you say, just stick. Your journey is your journey, no matter what it is you're doing. Have you? I do beds. You do barbering podcasts. Um, there's people. Everyone's got a different uh, career, different journey, a different path. Put the blinkers on and just look straight ahead. Don't look on the outside. Don't let anything distract you. Don't. Don't even even your competition in the industry you're in. I don't even look at other big companies. I don't know any other big companies really, apart from the high street brands, like the big names, Barker Stonehouse and all them lot. But I'm in a completely different market to them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We're yeah. completely different market. So I don't know. I don't really know any other big companies because I'm focused on myself. I'm focused on what I'm doing. Do you know? I hope that anyone that is listening to this. Um, can just really grasp your energy for what you do, right? Because there's another <sighs> thing when you when you're talking to people and you you know when you just there is sometimes you have chit chat, right? And you say things you don't mean, like fucking oh shite in it, blah blah blah. Yeah, you, but we if all you, talk a lot of crap, but, don't we? But <laughs> crap. <laughs> but if you're if you really are one of these people that start believe what you when you have this chit chat and you're like, oh, what you been up to? Oh, not really shite in it. Change that vocabulary. Oh, Change yeah. that. If you're thinking, if you're, if work, that they like work today was shite in it, some go and change it. Just like the other or, day, or make someone, or excel in work to make work better. Yeah, yeah. just like the other day, life's better. Someone said, "Oh, did you watch the boxing?" To Joshua and you said, "Yeah." I said, "Yeah, yeah." Ah, fucking shite, wasn't it? <laughs> I went, "No, it was, it was one of the best fights I've fucking, watched in ages." It was a proper boxing match, a proper boxing match. Yeah, I was like, it wasn't shite. I said, it was a fucking, it was fucking incredible. Hit and move, hit and move all the way for yeah. twelve rounds. How fast in and out was he? People, but these people who don't know about boxing just want a big swing yeah, fest yeah. and a knockout in the second Joshua round. Knock him out, yeah. And someone laid out of the floor. That was what you call a proper boxing match, and it was it was great to see. Don't get me wrong, like I, I was hoping to see a knockout, but just that energy, I'm shite like wasn't it? Yeah, no, it wasn't. It was actually incredible. It was nice to watch. It was refreshing. Yeah, but yeah, like you're saying though, that energy, that fucking shite like wasn't it? Yeah. Because, yeah. do you know, it's funny as well with you, Mark, is that me and Phil are very similar in the way, like, we're very, like, that, like, we just, we, we send it out. But you, as we spoke the other week about being a bit more introverted, but yeah. in you, I still see the get up and go every morning and the enthusiasm. So, like, you're, you've, you've still got a lot of energy for life, haven't you? Yeah, 100%. Even though you don't exhume it like it, certain yeah, people. No, yeah. I'm not like, I'm not over-enthusiastic about it, but I know... You're much more of a realist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. I'm much more of a realist, but I still have that up and He's goal. not a yes man. No. No, but I'm still willing to work hard. Yeah. And I think if you don't enjoy what you do, then you're not doing the right thing. No, yeah. you're not. Big, big believer in that. Like, yeah. Your work ethic is exactly the same do. as ours. Yeah. But don't without you shout, like, not shouting on, but without you, like, kind of expressing that, like, energy that yeah. you actually have. Don't get me wrong. Like, I think even if it's something that you, like, I worked in hotels for years. It's It wasn't really what I wanted to do, but I still excelled in it. And you made it. You made yeah. it good for you. Yeah. You, this did, is you the made thing. it give you energy. Someone said it to me the other day, but I didn't actually get a chance to answer it. It was on one of our Q&As. What would you say now to your 18-year-old self? And when I was 18, I wanted to be where I'm at now. But I didn't really know, I didn't re realise I was going to be doing what I'm doing now. So why would you say to. anything? So I would say, enjoy being young and don't worry about where you're going to be in the future. From 18 to 21, just enjoy being young. But as long as you're ambitious and you're passionate and you've got positive energy, you'll fall into what you're going to do. Um unless you're already doing it at 18, but if you you feel lost, you're not, you're not lost, you're not, you're 18, 19, 20, 21, yeah. very young ages. And I didn't, I, thought, I was a proper man's head though, wasn't I? So I thought I was old, <laughs> got to 19, I was thinking, I need to start getting my life You look career. younger now than you did then. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, cool. yeah, just like, 18 year old. Fuck, you no. haven't got a clue. I mean, I didn't know what I was doing. Run do. wild. Yeah. Run wild. Fucking enjoy yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Go to Blackpool yeah. for the weekend. But even we got it out of Mark. Mark ran well. Like, and he, uh, people very who know short him now, period of time. They, they wouldn't know you got it out. But get it out of your system. Yeah, get absolutely. Out of your system. Yeah, absolutely, you had to stop running wild. Yeah. Do you know <laughs> no, the, I'm, not as, I'm not as bad as I used to be, I don't think. There's something that I'm only, only now ready to do as well is make 
I always used to be a bit scared of making mistakes, but I'm now ready. Nah, you, yeah. I'm ready to lose everything now for to learn from a mistake. Yeah. So everything I do now, I'm on the back of my mind. If I have to start over again and lose everything that I've built up now, I'm ready to do it just to push the limit a little bit. Yeah. So don't be mistakes afraid to, to make mistakes. mistakes. Be I, vulnerable. Be I, vulnerable. Mistakes yeah. are good. I used to hate being vulnerable. I used, to, I used to make it, put a fake front on that. I had it all under control and stuff yeah. like that. Now I'll, I'll, I'll just be vulnerable. I'm ready to take mistakes and lose things and just, just to make sure. Definitely. From that, I'll get other opportunities. 100%. But 100% ready to lose but things. your mistakes are all part of your experience, aren't they? They are. You, uh, you learn from your mistakes. And you, you can't, what's the word, develop without mistakes. Yeah. If you if you were just you, you right only, every time, you only learn yeah. from your mistakes. You don't then, learn from getting yeah. better. So well, look at all you say. You knowing you you go on like a bit of a up down up down in your path to where you are now. If you look back at your learning, you'll have gone like that when you're just cruising. But when you make a mistake, you go fucking like that. But then straight back straight up. back up, yeah. yeah. And you go and you go tenfold. But I always used to say anything that any like anything that went wrong throughout the journey with me and Callum obviously I can't forget Callum Callum's been a massive part of the journey so I used to always say Callum anything that goes wrong or anything like anything bad anything negative any mistakes we made they're a blessing in disguise they're a blessing in disguise it's a learning curve it's it's something that you're gonna like come back from yeah do you know what I mean and then when, when we look back now we like we just look and think we're glad all the the all the mistakes and all the bad things that all the bad luck we had wouldn't we wouldn't be where we're at now what's funny as well you look back at them as mistakes but then you didn't know did you no. like you literally like you, you, you can't prepare yourself because no. you're step you're stepping into the unknown like that just thinking might be sound yeah. and then it becomes a massive mistake but then you, you just don't and it's like when you've got like a, some up your sleeve or a new project you're working on or anything new it's scary, isn't it? Of course it is. It'd be like when you start doing this, I bet you thought, oh, oh mate. Nice if I don't even get to do a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> do you know it's, what I mean? It's, it's, uh, this year, the, the, how much we've pushed the boat out, I've never been out of my comfort zone so much this year. But, but I feel that's like the I've, only way you grow. 100%. You can only grow out your comfort zone. I've you grew, can't grow when, you, no, when, you, when you you're in your comfort zone. I feel like I've learned more this year <sighs> since being in like school and college. It's yeah. been mental. Yeah, since the pandemic's been a good, yeah, good learning curve in life for me. Yeah, it was a was a bit of a learning curve for everyone, and I mean we've touched on that loads, and I think it's I think it's made everyone more grateful to... about certain things in life. Definitely, and um, I don't know. Everyone seems a little bit happier, more happier. Like when you're out and that, people just seem glad to be out and glad to socialise, and so yeah, don't really get that much chew anymore. No. It is. It's it, it. A lot of us have took the positives, and it's brilliant. But yeah, um, Phil, it's been amazing having you back on, mate. Honestly, guys, thank you very much. I was very nervous coming on this. Uh, it was very unexpected. It was very it's last that minute, nervous right? energy that makes um, makes a lot of things happen. Yeah, it does. But thank you very much for having me. I've, no, it's been a pleasure. I appreciate it. It's been good. Um, Can I just say again? Is like I come across as a bit of a fanboy here, like but. <laughs> Listen, you do, you do. We're, 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 we're brothers. <laughs> yeah, we are brothers. I don't care. That's what people think. If people think we, we obsess over each other, or we're fanboys, then that's a them problem, unfortunately. Because the bond that we've got, and whatever you're about to say, or how much we, we support each other. Yeah, that's uh, it. That's it. Means means a lot to me and you. So if people don't like it, then that's a problem that they've got, and they'll have to sleep on it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's a them problem. It's a them problem. But mate, it's just it's just to touch on how like the inspiration that you give me, mate, is I see I see you day in, day out. We speak day in, day out. And the work that you put in and w what you build, but how you build it and the ethics you have and like how you just wanna just boost everyone like we've touched on before. I think it's just it's important, just... isn't it, to make other people around you feel good and just give off positive energy. Even if you feel down. Still give off positive energy, yeah. Because <clears throat> feeding, like spreading positive energy, only makes you feel good. Do you know what I mean? Hundred percent. Spread negative negative energy, you're gonna feel negative. But no, mate, 
you inspire me and and we're gonna just keep Thank pushing you. on you inspire me and i do i look up to you you know i do i look up to you because even though you're not that much older than me, but you're a, you're a, you're an el uh, an elder, definitely an elder, isn't he? <laughs> <An elder. laughs> so yeah, I do. Because I listen to Smooth Radio now. That's yeah. why. Oh, I love but, Smooth. I've gone on to Smooth now. Yeah, you know. Same. Same. That's it. You're an elder. I love, I love, all, elder. I love all my sad songs and my <laughs> emotional songs and that. Yeah. Getting a bit emotional in my old age. Yeah. We'll, 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 we'll continue to send these love hearts every now and then. I think yeah. we've racked up about a thousand now. <laughs> oh. Not even the blue ones. If you either, put a love heart in your search bar on WhatsApp, <laughs> it'll just be mad in this chat with us. <laughs> Mark's that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I'm. I love, <laughs> you, I love you too, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you little bastard. No, it's been amazing, mate. Um, Thank you for having me. And um, we, look, we look forward to the launch of the ticket sales and whatever you've got up, to, up your sleeve for the next few months. I'm Keep an eye for, out. I'm looking forward to it. And I'm glad that he's going to be part of everything. So. Move. Move. Cheers, Mark. Cheers, Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark.